Yo, what's going on, guys? What's going on, YouTube? So, uh, yeah, man, you got this um, heavyweight uh, contender, Kubrat Pulev, um, championship contender, you know, Kubrat Pulev. After a fight, man, he kisses this uh, reporter, so-called, so-called reporter named, uh, she goes by Jenny's Sushi, also known as uh, Naked Sushi, you know. So I guess she was working for some like Vegas Daily or something, 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 something to Vegas. Anyway, long story short, you know, getting to my point, like, why is she even in boxing? You know what I'm saying? So I mean, what, I mean, what does she do? Does she does? I mean, this is like a 42 year old woman. Who does sushi? Her thing is sushi, naked sushi, putting sushi food uh, on you know naked women and stuff like that. So that that's her thing, you know. Why is she even interviewing Kubrat Pulev? You know, not to excuse his actions or anything like that, but why? Is she, why is she even covering boxing? Boxing is such a niche sport. You know what I'm saying? It kind of shows you where she's at. You know, and as far as her, you know, career and social media, I mean, you know, this is this is what she's selling, man. This is what she's selling. And she's got like these little nerdy glasses on. Um, you see in this picture, she's not even wearing glasses. I guess that's part of her image, you know, to look younger. You know, that's what, you know, some some ladies do. They put these fake bifocals on and stuff like that, you know, supposed to give them that librarian look, you know, um, yeah, there was a time, man, guys were doing it too, man, it was making, <laughs> wearing those fake glasses, you remember that, you know, it was like the nerd look, everybody was doing it for a minute, especially guys in the NBA, but anyway, man, like, why did she, why, why, you know, is she a serious reporter, you know what I'm saying, you know, is she even, uh, you know, qualify to even, um, you know, cover boxing or anything like that. Is that that is is that her thing? Sports? Because I I mean I looked her up. I didn't see her with any other a athletes or anything like that. I don't know if she's new to this or something like that. But my my thing is like, why are these you know female reporters, man? You know, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you some pictures, man. Why are they even showing up like at these gyms? And these locker rooms and stuff like that. After these dudes fight and stuff like that, uh, why do they, you know, uh, you know? My thing is, why don't they dress accordingly? You know what I'm saying? If they want to be taken seriously, you know, be taken as you know professionals. Why do they dress as if they, you know, they going out to a cocktail party and stuff like that half the time? If you see some of these pictures and stuff like that when they doing these interviews, you know. Uh, you know, at, at, at you know at these uh, fights and stuff like that, especially like just at the gyms. Let's just let's say at the fights. Let's let's just say at the gyms and going in the hotel rooms. They, everything's like skin tight, uh, a lot of cleavage, all this makeup and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just go and look at it, man. Let's just look at it. And what you guys have to understand, especially the you know, that they're on. Uh, especially the uh, you know the um, I'm gonna name a few man, but if you just look at the boxing channels that they are, they're very small YouTube boxing channels, man. They're not even the biggest channels, you know what I'm saying? So what they're selling, which is s sex, pretty much, ain't really selling. You get what I'm saying? They got the they got their niche. It's it's is actually them. You get you get it, it's them selling. Pretty much sex, in order to get followers and stuff like that, which is is it necessary in boxing? If you have a decent, you know, uh, boxing channel, if you're talking about something, if you're producing good content and stuff like that, if you're giving good opinions, but they're not doing that. Pretty much all they're doing is interviewing the uh, the boxers. As far as their opinions and stuff like that, they got none. They got none. No, no film studies. No breakdowns. No nothing. Uh, no, no insight. It's just them. Like, oh, this is hey guys. 
this is me, I'm in it, you know, yada yada, you know, I'm interviewing so and so. That's pretty much it. That's 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 it. You know, that's all you're gonna get. So I'm gonna just show you a few pictures, man. This uh sushi lady, this is what she does, man. Naked sushi. Here she is with Kubret Pulev. Hmm. I wonder what why he even worked up the nerves to even kiss her. But look, look at it. This is highly inappropriate, you know. As a professional, you know what I'm saying? She's she's touching him. Granted, he's he's you know hugging her and whatnot, but she's touching him. She's got her hands all over her stomach and stuff like that, you know. So she she's not giving an indication that you know she she you know she wants to keep it professional or anything like that. And it's probably just an innocent picture, but you know, at, at the end of the day, you know, it, the objective is to be you know professional. You know what I'm saying? The 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 draw a line. I don't think this is drawing the line. You know, but but look at it in other pictures, man. This picture right here. But well, let me get Mayweather up in here. Yeah, Mayweather Sr. A lot of cleavage, man. We're supposed to be at a boxing convention. Supposed to be covering boxing. Um, you, you, you could probably say she's overdressed. You know, look look for Mayweather Sr. He's blushing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's blushing, man. And if you know Floyd Mayweather Sr., man, he's... He's got some girlfriends, man. You know what I'm saying? They're younger than him. They look younger than him. They don't, they don't got grades like him. They're not bald in the girls I see him with. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Like, like, what's what, what what's the purpose? What's the what's the purpose? At the end of the day, when you always dress like this, when you always got cleavage and everything showing, what's what's the real purpose? And she's not the only one, man. You got uh, Michelle Joy Phelps, who does a good job. But at the end of the day, you know, what what's the purpose at the end of the day? You know, what 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 you selling at the end of the day? You know, a little bit too much. A little bit too much. I'm gonna show you some other pictures, man. This is her with uh, Tyson Fury in his hotel room and everything like that. That's a little bit too much, man. You know what I'm saying? You're in this dude's hotel room and everything like that. Now, what what a Tyson Fury kiss Michelle, Michelle Joyce Phelps on the lips. I mean, she's interviewing him in his hotel room. Uh, he's all laid back. You can kind of say that's a, like an intimate setting right there. You get what I'm saying? And she's always dressed to the nine. Always got the makeup on. Always well dressed, which is nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But at the end of the day, you know, how, how do you want to be perceived in in the world or in the realm of boxing? How do you want to be perceived in, uh, in, in the workplace, man? Um, oh, man. This is it's this lady man named Maria Bartiromo or something like that. She's on like like Fox Business and stuff like that. Man, you don't see no cleavage or nothing like that. She don't show her arms or anything like that. Man, she's always have everything buttoned up to the neck. You know, um, I don't, I don't think you don't see her legs or anything like that. When she's talking business, man, she's talking business. She's got her makeup and stuff done. You know what I'm saying? She looks nice. But she's 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 there, you know, talking business. You know, she's not selling, you know, herself. You know what I'm saying? She's not selling her uh, her, her body. You know, because at the end of the day, you know, her looks are gonna go away, and she probably wants a long career uh, on television. You know what I'm saying? Being an analyst or a pundit, whatever she does, you know, reporting, you know, her, her business news. So she she got it so like, hey, you know, my body, I'm not selling. You know, the fact that I made her read this teleprompter and tell you the news and stuff like that, give an analytical breakdown on stuff and give my opinion, that's what I'm selling at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? You know, not, you know, not, not too much but knocking the hustle, but 
I'm not surprised that this this happened. That you know one of these boxers end up kissing uh, one of these female boxing reporters that are, are dressed half naked, always getting physical with these guys. You see this? You see that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Horse playing around, getting all touchy feely. And stuff like that. Getting getting familiar with these guys. Which is nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying. Somebody's going to end up crossing the line. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's going to end up crossing the line. And it's going to be like. Oh well. You know. I, I, th I thought she liked me. Or something like that. That's probably what he's thinking. She dressed real nice here. I don't know what the hell she's doing here. Michelle Joy Phelps. But she does a lot of interviews and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Go uh, behind the gloves. Go ahead and check out her channel and stuff like that. She puts in a lot of good interviews, asks a lot of good questions and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, you know. And then you got this other lady named uh, Helen, H Helen uh, Yee. Let me, let, me, let me lower this image a little bit. I mean, look how she's dressed, man. And she's at a boxing gym. She's at a boxing gym dr dr dressed like this. Showing cleavage and whatnot. Is, is, that, is that necessary in a boxing gym to do an interview? To be dressed like this? At a boxing gym, bro. Is is it necessary? I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just asking as a professional. You want to be perceived as a professional reporter and stuff like that as as you come in there you're trying to get the uh boxer story and everything like that is is it is that necessary to the to, to show any type of cleavage or anything like that is it is it necessary go go ahead man look at the news and see how some women like in business that you know you know that 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 want to be taken seriously, you know. Look, look how they dress, man. Look, look how they dress. You know, I'm talking about young, young ladies too. Look how they dress. What Kubrick Pulev did, you know, it was, it wasn't, you know. I'm not justifying his actions, but I'm just pointing out something that you know has to be seen, man. You fellas got to be aware, man. You know what I'm saying? That these, you know, these girls, man, they, they you know, they get, they doing this with with a purpose, you know what I'm saying? They do they doing this with a purpose. But at the end of the day, it's like, how do you want to be perceived? You know, and it's, especially for you young guys, man, you got daughters, man, you got to talk to your daughters. Like, look, you know, you're professional. I know you want to dress nice and stuff like that. You know, you look cute or whatever like that. But, you know, when you come to a place of business, you want to be taken seriously, you know, you know, you ain't got to show no cleavage or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? You got to wear like tight dresses or everything's got to be revealing or anything like that. You know, come professional, man. Come come with a blazer with some with some dress slacks and stuff like that. It's OK. You go ahead, put your makeup on, but but go ahead and, you know, dress professionally. Come, come to the place of business as if you're going to take care of business. You know what I'm saying? Don't give nobody else any other impression. Man, this looks like, like an event. You know what I'm saying? This looks like an event, man. I use that. But again, man, short dress. And if you see, man, in business... Your tire should come down to the knee. Nothing should be above the kneecap. And she tell she tell she's hustling and bustling, man. She got the tennis shoes on, but 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 look at the dress, man. Look at the dress. And I'm I'm not saying it's you know it's a crime to to want to look good and stuff like that, but you know she's there to conduct business at at the end of the day, and she wants to be taken seriously. The dress should be down uh, to the knee. This is not appropriate, you know, for a place of business. But then again, it's probably like a little cocktail event or, or, or whatnot. 
but this is something you won't wear in the gym or in, or in some hotel lobby and stuff like that. You're tracking somebody down in, in somebody's room. But if you see how they dress, man, look, look, this. she's in the gym. Tight clothing, man. Is that a, you know, real tight clothing? Real tight. Probably too close. And look, look, he and he aware of it, man. He's he's keeping his distance. You know what I'm saying? He's just close enough, keeping his distance. You know what I'm saying? He's he can tell he's 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 wise. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep my distance. Take a quick picture. Hey, how you doing? Let me bounce. You know, before you get yourself in, tr in trouble. And here's this other lady, man, named Cynthia Conte, in the boxing gym. With that tight sweater, man. That sweater, young as hell, man. That's a young sweater, bro. That's a young sweater. Here with Lomachenko in the gym. Young sweater. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just saying, man. I mean, is that a, is that appropriate for the workplace? If you come to work, you go something else, man. Let me show you another picture. Here she is again in the gym. As you see, she's in the gym. Cleavage. Here she is again with our man, De La Hoya, Oscar De La Hoya. Let me load this picture again. With another tight sweater on. Now, what Kubrick Pulev did, man, it's, it's not right, man. Nobody's justifying what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? What he did. What he what he did was, um, you know, was unprofessional. You know what I'm saying? I guess if you want to be in his defense, look, he does got a gash on on his head. He just came from a boxing match. He's on a high. He probably wasn't in his right mind. You know what I'm saying? He probably was thinking the girls was like feeling him. You know what I'm saying? Probably. But yeah, man, you guys got to remain professional, man. You know, you're in a place of business. I mean, it is boxing and stuff like that. But anyway, man, if you're in a place of business, you know, watch out, man. Watch out. Watch out, man. Just keep to yourself. Keep your hands to yourself. Um, and you know, and you know, keep your mouth shut, man. Just keep your mouth shut. Just this is a little little advice, man. Keep your mouth shut. All right. Because and then uh, this is one more thing, man. On these YouTube channels, man. These uh, female reporters with these boxing or these boxing YouTube channels with these females and stuff like that. The 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 product is actually you. Especially you young guys, 18 or 16 years old and stuff like that. You know, these pubescent, you know, teens, these boys. I bet I can I can bet you like 90%, percent not 100 percent they follow as a, a males. You know what I'm saying? And so, but the product is you. You know what I'm saying? You're you're the product at the end of the day. It's not really even the boxers. They selling themselves, even though it's a bit of the boxing, they mixing the sex in with it too. Man, I, I just saw this episode on uh Showtime, man. It's called Action. You got this uh female handicapper. I forgot her name, but she's like a female handicapper. And that's what she does. She handicaps uh, you know, uh sports. You know, I think it's primarily football, but if you see in some of her videos and stuff like that in her video productions, she's like, you know, <laughs> doing these handicaps and stuff like that, like half naked, man. You know what I'm saying? With these little, uh, you know, uh, cheerleader, uh, you know, short shorts on and all this other stuff. And they say she's a great handicapper, but at the same time, you know, if you're so great, at, at what you do, why are you half naked? 
because it was another guy on the show. Several other guys go. You had one guy who's overweight, fat, you know, making money, gambling, handicapping. And yeah, one guy, hell, he made like what? Almost like a, a million bucks in like what? Like a couple of hours selling like handicaps and stuff like that. You know, sell, selling bets, you know, for like $500 here, $500. The dude was making a killing and he 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 uh, he got a jeans and t-shirt on. You get what I'm saying? So anyway, think about it guys, man. You know, think about it. Think about it. All right, man. I'm out.